Hey, good morning, all. It's Wednesday morning, September the 2nd. We got some trees cut up yesterday. Uh, Austin, my son-in-law, come by or come out and fired up his chainsaw and, and uh, cut these trees down. This, this tree that was uh, the wind got into, tore it up. So we cut it. He got it cut down and chopped up. Now we'll get a haul back to the. We have an outside wood furnace, which is going to be pretty nice for winter time. Uh, so we'll have we'll have that, and we've got a lot of trees down, a lot of tree tops that we can. Uh, cut up and, and we'll carry in for firewood so the birds are active this morning pretty nice to hear them <laughs> they're, they're really coming alive out there we got a lot of dew on the ground this morning the rain has stopped it's cloudy uh, there's a chance of more thunderstorms today We'll see how it comes out. But, yeah, the morning is, uh, it's 8 o'clock our time. Uh, mornings are quite adventurous as far as the birds coming in and singing. Uh, it's pretty neat, pretty neat. Our garden is, is uh, still producing. Uh, those little tomatoes we had yesterday, we showed y'all was, uh, can't believe it. There's, uh, Mark was saying that his is still green on the vine, the little nubs. <clears throat> I don't know. I've never had any problem with them, but of course we get a lot of sunshine here. May have to, may have to put them in a <laughs> next year. Put them in a in a uh, pot and put a green light over top of them. One of those uh, grow lights. They need sunshine. Yeah, they gotta have heat sunshine they like that our peppers are getting bigger they really do good in the in the fall of the year uh, I wish I'd brought one of them out here they're they're bigger than your fist they're big and uh, are growing the bell peppers are the jalapeno peppers are coming on so we'll see you know we, if anything we can chop them all up with green tomatoes and make chow chow out of them uh, that's pretty good stuff too. So, all right, I got Philippians four, verse fourteen here this morning, and we'll see what this. There's not but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six references to it, but you know it's always surprising how it comes out. Uh, you take a verse like that, and there'll be two or three words in it that's that they'll follow back on and they'll do references on that word or whatever it is, that phrase. And so I pull these out of Paul's writings uh, because he's our apostle today. You know, we stick with Paul. We stick with him. So that's where I get these is just out of Paul's. Out of all the different references, I pull Paul's out and we'll use his. So anyway, here's, what it, here's how this comes out today. All right. Moreover, you do ideally in your joint contribution in my affliction. For they are delighted, and they are their debtors. For if the nations participate in their spiritual things, they ought to minister to them in fleshly things also. Or is he undoubtedly saying it because of us? Because of us, for it is written that the power ought to be plowing in expectation, and the thresher to participate, to partake of his expectation. If in expectation we sow the spiritual in you, is it a great thing if we shall reap of your fleshly things? Now let him who is being instructed in the word be contributing to him who is instructing in all good things. According as it is just for me to be disposed in this way over you all, because you, having me in heart, both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the evangel, you all are joint participants with me of grace. Now I am collecting all and am superabounding. I have been filled full, receiving from Ephroditus the things from you, an odor fragrant, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. 
Those who are rich in the current eon be charging not to be haughty, nor yet to rely on the dubious of riches, but on God, who is tendering us all things, richly for our enjoyment, to be doing good acts, to be rich in ideal acts, to be liberal contributors, treasuring up for themselves an ideal foundation for that which is impending, that they may get a hold of life, really. <laughs> there it is. So that is, that's a done deal. On Philippians 4.14 and references to it. Some, sometimes these references are, you're like, well, you know, how does that tie in? How does that tie in? And so you just, we just write them out and that's what's in, that's the references to it. So there's some good stuff in that. <laughs> Got that done Wednesday. <coughs> September 2nd. I've uh, finished writing out the, the, uh, the last part of Philippians chapter 4. Got that all wrote out. And now I'm starting to look up some of the references for uh, Ephesians. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, it's going to be pretty neat. Uh, we got an inspector coming today to look at this home we're buying. Uh, I, I don't know if I, if y'all are aware that we haven't yet signed the papers on this property. We're still uh, the 15th of this month is when we're supposed to sit down and get to get all the legalities out of the way and make it officially ours. So we've been renting it until that time. But uh, we get our place in in the city in Marshfield, Missouri. We get it uh, sold, and we sign those papers on the 4th. So we'll transfer from one payment to another. Same amount of money is going out. So that's pretty nice to be able to, to stumble into a property like this. You know, this God-given, it's, it's nothing that we've done. We weren't even looking for it when it, when it was presented to us. So... You know, that's how God works. We don't know what he's got lined up for us from one day to another, do we? That's why we enjoy every moment, you know, even through the struggles. We can see that there, there's something that's really good going to come out of it because God's working in it. That's the way it is. So whatever whatever it is that we got in life, you know, it's given to us by God. So we enjoy what we've got and uh, thankful for it. It's nothing that we've done. <laughs> nothing that we've done. It's going to be a great day. Let's go see what God's got lined up for us today, shall we? I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.